how to install DeepSeek in NA10 and Klein. This is going to be a very short video. I usually don't do this type of videos, but since I feel that this is a, could be very valuable and I kind of struggled with finding a way to install DeepSeek, especially in NA10, in Klein it was pretty straightforward. I decided to record this short video. So DeepSeek is a new model which you can, which has a very uh, great abilities, especially in coding. It has recently scored very high in many different uh, LLM leaderboards. This is just a random leaderboard that I found. As you can see, it is almost as good as the O1. There are many different leaderboards. I didn't validate this specific one, but in general, DeepSeek uh, V3 is producing very high, very good output and it's also like 50 times cheaper than all the alternatives so it's definitely uh, becoming a go-to in terms of um, a solution for people who are coding now in order to get DeepSeek, you can either go to their website and access their api just create an api key over here and you're pretty much good to go i'm not going to to like show you step by step because this is pretty straightforward the alternatively what you can do you can go to open router which for those of you who don't know open router is a platform that um, allows you to connect to different models basically what you need to do is to create an account add your um, credit card and from there on you can use open router to connect to different types of models you can filter out different models over here by their context, the pricing, uh, by the um, company, so GPT, Gemini, Claude, whatever. And over here, you can also filter by newest, top weekly, as you can see, uh, what is used most often this week and <laughs> in all weeks is actually the 3.5 Sonnet. Let's see um, pricing. I think it's going to be Gemini, which is free. You can, by the way, you can also filter for only free models. And this is great for those of you who are uh, limited on funds. So you can uh, use specifically models that are free. Assuming that you want to use this model, for example, you just copy this and paste it in, Cl in Klein or NA10, whatever you want. Now let's show you the example for NA10. So let's assume that I took uh, this line of code from, let's go here, DeepSeek V3, here. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know what is NATN, NATN is a workflow automation platform, which uh, costs, you can either self-host it and it's going to be free as I am doing. You just need the server. Alternatively, what you can do, you can pay 20 bucks, and I turn and you get the hosted version. It's a great solution. I think it's the, in my opinion, it's the best solution at the moment for um, low code slash no code automations. Many people for some reason overlook it. Many people are using make. I think anything, uh, obviously there are no solutions, only trade-offs. Um, but in general, I think N10 is a better solution for most of the people. But I don't like speaking absolutes. For me, N10 is the best at the moment. So let's say you want to add an AI agent using DeepSeek Coder. What you have to do first, you need to come here to N10, to your credentials. You add credentials, you write OpenAI as if it's an OpenAI. API key, you paste the API key you took from DeepSeek, which you got from DeepSeek, come here, API key, copy, and paste it over here. Then you will have like a, a warning as if it's not compatible, ignore that, and then move on to your workflow. In your workflow, you need to select the correct um, key that you, the correct name of the account that you chose. So I called it open router deep seek. And what you have to do in the base URL, all you have to do, you need to change the base URL to be um, 
the best URL relevant for open router. Let me see where did it go. I had it before just a sec. Open router based URL. I had it. It's this one. So you paste this one and you're good to go. You paste it here and you're good to go. And the model, you just change it to DeepSeek. So, like I showed you before, you come here, copy this, and you paste it over here. That's it. In the, you click the expression and then you paste it here. That's it. And we now have an AI agent connected to DeepSeek. Can you help me write code? I need a Chrome extension automation of Instagram commenting. Just to see that it is working. There you go. We have the response over here. So this is how you connect it to NA10. Now, if you want to, obviously NA10 is very powerful. I, I've recorded videos about NA10 in the past, but if we are already here, you can see all the alternatives. So you can connect different apps the whole uh, Google suite. Basically, <laughs> I guess most of the apps that are available, like the popular ones, you can connect it over here. You can transform data. You can run specific code. You can filter, limit, remove duplicates, split, etc. cetera. Um, create loops, conditionals, filters, a lot of uh, uh, alternatives. I think it's a very uh, powerful tool especially for people who don't feel comfortable with coding. If you do feel comfortable with coding and you want to use DeepSeek, I highly recommend using Klein. For those of you who don't know what is Klein, it's an AI coding assistant, which is an open source product, project. It is free, but obviously it will cost you money to create like the API request. If you're using Gemini or something like this, you won't pay. But if you want to um, use DeepSeek, obviously you will have to pay. But as I told you, it's like 50% 50 times cheaper than using a uh, Claude Sonnet or OpenAI. If you want to use Klein, you come here to VS Code, to the marketplace. You um, install this extension and over here, you will find the API provider DeepSeek. All you have to do is paste your API and you will have to select the model, which is DeepSeek chat, and then you're pretty much good to go. What I did here is I used um, DeepSeek in order to help me install Change Detection IO. Change Detection IO is a powerful tool that basically allows you to monitor changes in websites. It's not running at the moment, but this is not uh, the idea uh, of the video. But basically, Change Detection IO allows you to input uh, websites and then on specific time intervals, if you decide like every two minutes, every two hours, every day, it can check whether or not anything changed in the website and then it notifies you. Uh, it is also a free tool, highly recommend it. But the, the main idea is the fact that I knew the, the, this project existed. I went to the GitHub repository and all I had to do is basically I told it um, to install change detection IO to my uh, E drive and then it just did everything on its own. It cloned everything and I had to approve a few things, a few commands, and I was good to go. Um, so far, I've been really enjoying DeepSea Coder. Um, I didn't build any crazy um, solutions lately in terms of coding. So it's not as if I didn't stress test the model. But my first impression is that it's very powerful. It also has great scores in the LLM leaderboard. And obviously, if you're um, price sensitive, it's a, a great alternative. And this is why I wanted to record the short video. That's pretty, that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, obviously, like and subscribe. Leave a comment below with your criticism or ideas 
um, or other videos. And if you've built anything interesting with DeepSeek, please let me know. Um, definitely check out NATN if you haven't used it so far. Definitely check out NATN, obviously Klein as well. I guess that's pretty much it. Until next time, keep on automating.